I know that you know I just recently did a video talking about Harvey Weinstein and everything like that, but I didn't get a chance to incorporate what happened after the announcement of the verdict with him, and that's because I didn't find out until hours later. Um, you know, with what allegedly happened with him. So we all know that Harvey Weinstein for the last couple of months has been claiming that he has, well, I think they say he has what diabetes or some kind of ailment, but we don't believe that. Then we've seen him walking around with this Walker. <laughs> the Walker itself has become his own character. Um, like Lovely T said in one of her live streams, they need to make memes about this and everything like that. Because if it was somebody else, we it would have been memes and gifts all over the place. And when I saw that, when I saw Harvey Weinstein with the Walker, I said if he beats this, it's going to remind me of this video that I've seen before. Y'all may have seen it. it was an old white guy and he's at a party or something like that. And I think he has a cane or a walker or something. And when he sees all the people having fun and dancing and whatnot, he's like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm going to have fun, too. He, he chucks that damn walker or that cane and starts dancing. Like, it's a funny video. If y'all have never seen it, you um should be, go online and like like have a good laugh at it. It's funny as hell. But anyway, that's what I had imagined Harvey Weinstein probably doing. Like I said, the Walker itself has become its own character. I was looking at a clip, I think it was from Inside Edition, and one of the, I guess, handlers was with the Walker, and the person with the camera, the reporter, was panning right down to that Walker as the person was walking by. Not the person carrying or pushing the Walker, but just the Walker. Like I said, it's developed a life of its own. But the reason why I'm making this video is because apparently after... The verdict was read for Harvey Weinstein in which he was found guilty on three of those, uh, I mean, two of those charges. He went instead of going to the to the jail, he went to the hospital near Rikers Island where he would be at because apparently he had chest pains or he suffered some kind of. I don't I wouldn't say a heart attack because that might be a reach, even though he's reaching very hard with this Walker situation. But they said he has suffered some kind of chest pains and everything like that. I guess the I guess finding out that you're guilty of something that, you know, you've been um, known to do for so long would actually shock someone. Meanwhile, Bill Cosby got found guilty on hearsay. This man actually has physical ailments and he didn't have to get taken to the hospital. And even if he did need to be taken to the emergency room, they wouldn't have done it. And if they did, they would have questioned why did they take him there? Why not just take him to the infirmary at the prison and let them check him out as if they could have done something there for him? They want Bill Cosby to be as miserable as possible. But based on what I've heard, he's doing seminars in the prison, you know, for the inmates that are in there like. Like he he's not really in bad shape like they hope he is, but they want to rally around Harvey Weinstein and to and put him into a perpetual state of being a victim. So they're like I said, it's all a dog and pony show. It is nothing wrong with this man. I don't think he has the actual illness that they claim he has. He he definitely doesn't need this walker. And him being taken to the hospital, it's just added on, you know, to the theatrics that is Harvey Weinstein. After all, this man worked with actors for years. He has picked up some things from them along the way, including how to be overly dramatic. And that's exactly what he's doing right now, being overly. And I mean, he's really trying to sell it. Dramatic. It's really It's quite hilarious when you think about it, but it's also sad and pathetic at the same time. Like, no one is falling for this shit. I know I'm not. But we'll see how he acts on March 11th when that sentence comes down. And if he's acting like how he is right now, imagine how he's going to be on March 11th when it's supposed, because they said allegedly supposed to go down that day. But we all know he's not going to get that much. But if he's acting like how he is now with lesser charges compared to what he could have gotten, Oh, this is going to be interesting. So we'll see in about two weeks. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Twitter if you haven't done so already. Have your notifications turned on and I will talk to you in the next one.